Hey guys, I'm Rich from Neo Win. Today we're taking a look at Android N. Now this is just going to be an overview of everything that's new, and there's quite a bit. Um, and maybe later on we'll make some other videos where we go a little more in depth. Now you notice this thing just keeps going to sleep. I've tried to change that. I'm going to have to keep waking it up, and I'll show you why in a bit. First thing you notice here is a new uh, stock wallpaper. Obviously that's the first thing you're going to notice. There's nothing else that's different right here on the the home screen. All right, so... We also have all new notifications here, which is awesome. If you ask me personally, I hated the old card design. I couldn't stand it. Um, those notifications also show up on the lock screen. I think they look a little bit better, although I kind of, I do kind of wish they would go away. Um, also, we have notifications that you can actually respond to. Okay, so you're going to see that. I'm going to get a message right here. And there it is. So now I can just tap reply and I can send a message back. Hello. And there it goes. Um, and that's a Google Hangouts message, right? So um, developers will be able to, to build that into their app. Um, we also, obviously, we also have the new quick settings over here, which is part of the new notification center. Let's get rid of all that and clear out the notification center. And we also have all new settings. Now, this is where I keep talking about how um, the, the screen keeps going to sleep. So we have suggestions up here, which is new, obviously. Um, also, the settings menu is all redesigned. Okay, um, it's all just one sheet now. Um, if I go into the display settings, you'll notice that we now have a hamburger menu over here, by the way which will give us all top level settings that we can go to. Now, I wanted to change the amount of time until it sleeps, and this is what we see. Um, this happens a lot for a lot of different settings. Um, if I go, let's go back in here and let's use the hamburger menu to go over to security and say I wanted to change screen lock and then I wanted to change this in screen lock. Same thing. So it happens in a lot of lower level settings in, in the new settings menu. So again, it's a first developer preview, right? This thing needs work. It's going to get better. There is zero doubt about that. Okay, so next thing we're going to do, we're going to look at split screen apps. Now, this is probably the headlining feature of Android N. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to hold this the multitasking button here, and that takes us to split screen. So it puts Google Play where I was in right over here, and then it gives us the option of what to put over here. Um, so I'm going to put Google Chrome. Now the way this works is that developers can, can add a resizer API to, to their app. Um, also, one app is active and one app is paused at a time. Um, I don't know exactly what that means because that, um, it's paused, that's not stopped, so you're still going to get like notifications in the background. So if I have like Google Hangouts over here and... Chrome over here, those messages are still going to pop up in Hangouts, and I can still go back and forth between them. We'll also notice that um, we can't really resize here. Um, that feature might be coming. I, I Obviously, I can't say. Um, I also can't test this on a tablet. I don't have a Nexus 9, which I, or, which I believe is the only tablet that this, this preview supports. Um, and, I mean, maybe on a bigger screen, it'll resize a little better. But to get rid of one of the apps, you can simply slide all the way over, and it's gone. All right. Um, so that yeah, there's a couple ways to enter the multitasking screen. It's it's pretty cool. Um, personally, I think Android N is awesome. I think it fixes a lot of design issues that I really didn't like, like those card notifications, um, being a, a interactive notifications. Awesome. You know, um, suggested settings like that. Hamburger menu to go to, go to other top-level settings. Awesome. A lot, lot of great stuff. Uh, personally, I don't think split-screen multitasking is really the, the savior that, that people make it out to be. Maybe on tablets it is. Um, I don't know why they did this on phones. Um, really, well, I can tell you why they did it on phones, or I can guess. Um, you know, iOS does split-screen on tablets. Windows does split-screen on tablets. doesn't do it on phones. Um my guess would be that, that Android is really the same system on phones and on tablets, where like iOS is designed pretty differently on iPhones and iPads. Um, Windows is the same. You have regular Windows on tablets or even Windows RT, and then you have Windows Phone. 
Um, Android is, is very much the same operating system, although I know they have had some features that only work on tablets and some that only work on phones. But I, I that would be my guess as to why, you know, and why restrict someone from doing that when you don't have to. There is one more thing that I want to note about Android N. I'm sure Google is going to announce more features at Google I.O. Um, we're still well over a month away from Google I.O. This is, I mean, the developer conference is when companies usually say what's next for their platform, right? Um, Apple announces iOS 10 and, and OS 10 point um 11 no point 12 whatever they're up to um and you know because that's what developers need to know they need to they, they need to know what new features they can implement in their app what new apis they can call um so the fact that google dropped android n on us a couple months ahead of time is is really surprising so i would also be really surprised if they didn't have a couple things that they're going to share then um I'm, I'm sure they're holding a couple things back. You know, you notice if, if you look at, at Google's page for the developer preview, um, it says the first, there's going to be five previews and the first two are going to be about stability and bug fixes. And then four and five really seem like they add something. So, um, I mean, just, just kind of interpreting the notes that way. Anyway, guys, that's it. That's um, that's a quick overview of, of what's new in Android N. I'm sure we'll discover more stuff and we'll go more in depth into the new the new settings menu, the new notifications, and so on. Anyway, guys, I'm Rich from Neo Win. Have a great night.